Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today I'm going to be showing you an early preview of Microsoft Edge on iOS. For a while now, Microsoft has been bringing their best to the mobile world, with apps such as OneNote or Outlook for iOS being some of the greatest out there. The company has stepped forward again and has recently announced that Edge will soon be coming to both iOS and Android. The app has the same Edge icon you see in Windows 10. Seeing it in the dock of my iPhone makes me all giddy as a Windows Phone user. Uh, the app is not currently available in the App Store, as a limited number of Windows Insiders running the latest RS3 builds will be able to sign up to test the app through Apple's very own Test Flight app. You can get it installed on an iPad, but it's not a universal app, so it doesn't scale very well. Opening Edge for the first time on your iPhone, you'll be greeted with a welcome page that asks you to sign in to your Microsoft account. I already have it set up on this device, so I can just click Continue. Anyone who has used Microsoft Edge will immediately recognize the controls of the app. Microsoft has decided to go with the same icons it uses for Edge on Windows 10 to help with continuity. The iconography and spacing looks a little bit sketchy, but I'm sure it'll smooth out over time and once the app hits the App Store. The layout of Edge on iOS is actually more similar to how the app appears on PC than it does on Windows Mobile. You have the Microsoft logo promoted at the top, a search bar, top web pages, and news stories. Sites load about as quickly as you'd expect, um, but the app is in preview, so I'm not surprised to see a little bit of unresponsiveness sometimes. We can already explore all the same navigation features Edge supports on Windows. There's a button at the bottom that lets you view and open new tabs, as well as a section completely separated for in-private sessions. You'll know when you're browsing in private because the whole UI switches over to a dark mode. Something I'm sure some people will be tempted staying in just for the theme. Along the top, you'll find the address bar and the hub. The hub stays synchronized with the hub on your PC, so your favorites, reading lists, books, and history will all be available on all your devices. You can add the web page you're currently browsing to your favorites right here. Your reading list also syncs with your saved content. The ebook reader isn't functional yet, but it says it's coming soon. And of course, there is your history, which you can clear as often as you need to. Looking at the set of functions at the bottom of the app, you'll notice the Continue on PC button in the center. I've demonstrated this feature before on Android as a separate app, but on Edge for iOS, it's built right in. After you've added your phone to your PC in the Phone section of the Windows Settings app, you'll be able to simply select it from the list of PCs in this menu, and the page will immediately open on that device. Let's try another page. How about New York Times? Select Continue on this PC. Select My Device. And boom, there you have it. Bringing Edge to iOS and eventually Android makes sense for Microsoft in a world where the smartphone and web browser are the two most important things to most people when thinking about technology. Will you be using Edge on your phone? Tell us what you think. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and check out our website for more info.